If you're new in today's video, I am so excited to share with you a six Dollar Tree DIY fall decor bows. So you guys know that I absolutely adore fall and we are going crazy on my channel for fall. This is episode 12 in my I Love Fall series and I'm going to share with you guys how to make a boutique gorgeous bows on a budget. So actually I created these bows because I could not figure out for the life of me how to make a decent bow. So I'm just going to share with you guys step by step how to take this easy simple bow and doll it up and change it and add layers to it. So we're just going to be doing this basically this one basic bow. So we're going to call this the Olivia bow and that way when I share with you guys a wreath project or a garland project you guys can go back to this video reference it and I'll say hey we're going to make the Olivia bow there's details instructions. So this is that video we are going to make a boutique gorgeous bows on a budget and I just also want to let you guys know too Joyce and Barb and you are the winner of my last fall decor giveaway. Um, please email me at oliviasromantichome at gmail.com. Thank you all for entering and we do have another giveaway going on currently. It's that beautiful scarecrow wreath. I can't wait to give that to someone. So go back to um, my episode 10 of my I Love Fall series and you guys will find that giveaway. So without further ado, let's check out some of these Dollar Tree bows. Okay, you guys, here's my outfit of the day. I have on jeans, these cute short black boots, this darling little cream colored top with a scalloped kind of Victorian trimming edge on the sleeves and the base, and this darling Dollar Tree scarf. So my husband surprised me and brought home the Hershey's Candy Corn Candy Bar. Um, I also found these Pumpkin Pie International Delight Mini Creamers, so delish. And he also brought home this M&M bag of M&M white candy corn M&Ms and they were so yummy. You guys know I'm obsessed with candy corn. It is so delicious. I'll have to try this. So for the first boutique gorgeous Dollar Tree bow we're going to make, we're just going to start out with this lovely pink wired ribbon. So we're going to pull the ribbon out and this bow is going to be about 12 inches long with the loops. Okay, so you just take your ribbon, you're going to loop it over on itself and then you're going to pull it out and you're going to loop it over on itself again. So for this bow, it's super easy. You guys can totally do this. You just continue to pull your ribbon out and loop it over on itself. You're going to continue to loop your ribbon over on itself until you see, check and see that there's two loops of ribbon on each side. Once you have your two loops of ribbon, you're just going to take your bow and you're going to fold it in half to find the center. You're going to unfold it and then you're going to go ahead and get a sharp pair of scissors and you're going to make two little notches on either side of your ribbon. Now this part is important, just barely notch into your ribbon because if you go too far your bow is going to fall apart and you don't want that. So just make a notch on one side and then make a notch on the other side of your ribbon. Once you have your notches done, you're going to take 26 inch gauge wire or any size of wire or you could use um, even just some string or a pipe cleaner and you're just going to wrap it around your bow. 
I like to give it about two to three twists. That way your bow is securely together and um, you wanna leave the wire on the back. That way you can wire it to a wreath or a flower arrangement or if you just wanna set your bow somewhere, you can just clip that wire off. So now you're gonna see me just taking these loops out of the ribbon and you're gonna kind of twist them and fluff them. And the reason we notched the ribbon so the wire had something to hold on to and so you can pull these big beautiful loops out and fluff your bow. You can also twist these if you like. So you can twist them into different spots however you like your bow. And now for this double layered Olivia bow. Let's just call this the Olivia bow. I'm going to share this bow with you constantly. This is the double layered Olivia bow and we're going to tie it to this cute little basket. I also used this bow in the scarecrow wreath that I just showed you guys about two videos back. And so really just to get this effect, you just want to continue to fluff and fluff and twist and fluff. Now we're gonna make another bow for our second bow, very similar to the first one, except for for this one, we're gonna use three loops. So just take your Dollar Tree patterned ribbon and you're gonna take and you're gonna pull it out. You're gonna wrap it over on itself. You're gonna pull it out and wrap it over on itself. You're gonna continue to do this until you get three loops. Now for this pattern bow, I'm going to go ahead and just find the center just like I did in the last one and then take and you're going to notch it on either side and also did you guys notice that I used the entire roll of ribbon? That way we're going to have a big beautiful fluffy bow. Now that you have the two little notches in your bow, you're just going to go ahead and tie your wire on and give it a really good fluffing. Pull those loops out, you guys. Don't be afraid to fluff away. Now don't too, pull too hard or you might tear your ribbon. The Dollar Tree ribbon sometimes is not super sturdy with the patterned kind of thinner ribbon like this pumpkin ribbon, but look at how beautiful this is. Now for the third bow, this is going to be a, an Olivia bow that's layered. So we're going to start out with a green Olivia a bow. So this is the exact same bow that you did in the first bow. You're just going to loop it over on itself. This is going to be twice. You're going to find your center. You're going to add it your notches into the center. Take your wire and wire the center again and twist it really good in the back and give it a really nice fluffy appearance. So just take it and loop it out and you wanna find one of those center loops and kind of twist it and make it the center. Okay, for the second layer of this big boutique gorgeous bow, you guys are going to see that we're using this cute little polka dot. This we're going to make into a smaller Olivia bow. So you're still going to do the same style. You're just doing it about 10 inches across instead of the standard 12 inches. And then again, you're just going to loop it over on itself, cut your little notches and go ahead and wire the center. And then for this third bow, this takes all three of them together. So you guys are just going to go ahead and wire the center of your last tiny bow because you're going to need that to wire all of your bows together. So you're going to give it a nice good fluffing, get it nice and pretty and fluffing. And you're also going to fluff your bow once you put it on whatever wreath or basket you choose to. So for this bow, you're going to take that giant big bow and you're going to take the second bow, which we're going to use the green one, kind of as an accent color, and you're going to wire that on to your first bow really well. Once 
once you have your green bow wired on, which is your second bow, you're gonna fluff it about, and then you're gonna wire on your third bow. So basically, you guys, this is super simple. You're just gonna wire th these three bows on top of each other. So take the base bow, wire the second one on top of that one, and then wire the third one on top of that. And then you can trim off any excess wires, but you do wanna leave one long wire that you can use to wire to whatever arrangement or wreath that you wanna put this beautiful, gorgeous boutique on a budget bow onto. And these are all Dollar Tree ribbon that I'm sharing with you guys. This was just ribbon that I had in my stash. I'm not totally for sure that I would have matched all these colors together, but I think if you put it in a wreath with some florals, it would be absolutely gorgeous. I'm sharing it with you guys on my cute little pumpkin basket here. And even though you guys know I do a lot of really beautiful pastel fall, I don't mind throwing in some traditional fall here and there. And how gorgeous did this turn out? I am absolutely loving this. You're going to see this bow in a lot of my wreaths and big florals that I make. So for the fourth bow that we're going to do, we're just going to take a smaller grass grain ribbon. This is also from the Dollar Tree, and you're just going to tie a shoelace bow. I doubled up this ribbon. You can do that, or you can just leave it single. But I doubled up the ribbon. That way I had a little bit more to play with, and it gave kind of a little bit more drama to this bow. So after you tie it into your shoelace bow, you've got that extra loop you just want to cut out and then you can kind of play with the tails here I like to dovetail the ends which means I just fold them in half and then cut that triangle I think that gives it a really pretty um, nice just boutique kind of beautiful finished edge now we're going to take two of these kind of organza ribbons and we're going to just make another shoelace bow I doubled these up as well and that'll just give us more drama and effect but I'm going to layer that on top of the darker ribbon because it's a sheer ribbon and it will allow that darker ribbon still to show through <laughs> Now for the third layer, I just want to use some of that Dollar Tree raffia to kind of mix into that. I'm going to add a dab of hot glue to get the organza ribbon on top of the base ribbon and then just take that raffia. I'm just cutting this and just tying it straight onto there. Nothing fancy, but look at how beautiful this bow is. This is so pretty on this basket and it's just got so much um, beautiful layering effects, I feel. And so this is just a really nice thing to add to a basket. I think these are a beautiful um, way to add drama and texture to a wreath or a garland and look how sweet that is. I'm just loving this one. Now for the fifth bow, this is what I call my scrappy bow. These are just scraps of ribbon that I had. And so the first scrap piece is probably about 18 inches. The other one's about 21 inches. And then I believe that shorter one is maybe 12 inches. So this is a great way to reuse um, just some of that old scrap ribbon you might have. So you're just gonna take and you're just gonna make a loop and pinch it with your fingers here. And then just take another one of the ribbons of your choice and do the same thing, just kind of loop it around itself. And then for the third one, you're gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna kind of just make a loop. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of pinch these together and then tie them off with a smaller, longer ribbon. So I just use this orange ribbon because it kind of coordinates in with that pretty polka dot ribbon. Um, but again, you guys, this is just kind of some scrap ribbon I had. I just wanted to share this with you guys. You guys can tell I'm probably low on my pastel ribbon. So we're going for these brighter, bolder fall colors. But look at how pretty this is. Another just shoelace bow. Tie it nice and tight. That way those other three ribbons stay on there really nice and then give it some fluffing and dovetail those ends if you like to kind of give it that pretty finished look now you could stop there with this bow if you wanted to um, but I'm gonna go in with a little bit more texture with some of that raffia that I had I'm just gonna dab a hot glue in there and of course I can't resist going a little bit extra a little bit over the top you guys it is fall and I had just kind of some of these scrappy pieces laying around so I went ahead and added in some leaves and th that wheat stem and this beautiful little pumpkin and it is gorgeous it's so sweet this is really like a really nice pick you guys this would probably be like six bucks at the craft store for this bow and all of these textures and really you guys can make this with just what you have laying around so look at how sweet this is on this basket just another little way to doll up your home for fall
So the sixth bow that we're gonna do is a deco mesh bow. I just had this scrap deco mesh laying around, so you're just gonna take it and you're gonna loop it together and you're gonna take it and you're gonna pull it out and loop it again. So there's just two loops that we've created and I'm gonna hold it in my hand. You can tell this deco mesh is really wanting to scrum around and pull it out at the end and you're just gonna cut it and tie those two loops together, tie it onto a basket or a wreath or whatever floats your boat and voila, you have a gorgeous little accent piece that's really gonna sparkle up something in your home for fall and I hope you guys are just loving all these bows. So what did you guys think about these Dollar Tree DIY Boutique Gorgeous Bows? I am so excited to share this bow kind of recipe with you guys. I love making bows and like I told you before, I could not figure out how to make a bow for the life of me and this little cutie pie was born. So this is um, my base bow and this is that more shabby dazzle a boutique gorgeous bow so i guess i'm kind of like 90s old-fashioned type of girl i love big fluffy bows i love over-the-top decorations so you guys can tell by my mantle and some of my other fall diys so anyway thank you guys so much i am so blessed to have you here and to have you all love on me your comments i read every single one they totally mean the world they make my heart feel just so happy and joyful and sparkly um and so i'm I'm just really thankful and blessed to have you all here. Thank you for joining if you guys are new and thank you for coming back and joining me on this crazy fall series that we're having. A lot of you guys have also been commenting and asking me about Christmas. Yes, I definitely am going to be going crazy for Christmas. And actually to you guys, I have um, a Christmas video of my home um, from May. So I went crazy decorating my home for Christmas in May. It was for the vintage holiday magazine photo shoot that I was asked to do. So I'll link that video in the description box below. You guys go check out that Christmas if you guys are dying for some Christmas. I know Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, everybody has their Christmas out. So we are definitely going to be sneaking up into the holidays. So I'm just so excited to share with you too some more DIY um, Halloween decor, some more fall decor. Also we're going to be decorating outside my house very soon. Um, Walmart's putting out their mums and I've got to have some of those because my petunias are definitely biting the dust. So um, anyway, I love you guys. Thank you. And we'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.